What's up guys, Super Geek here and today I'm going to tell you how you can download and try Android 13 Tiramisu on your Windows machine. Google released the Android 13 developer preview one recently and today I'm also going to tell you how you can download and install it on your Pixel smartphone. So make sure you check out the whole video and don't skip because I'm going to tell you a really nice trick to try it on your PC first then installing it on your pixel machine the first thing which you have to do is open a browser and search for android studio open the first link that you see and click on download options choose the zip package as you can see here agree the terms and condition and download it from here why I'm telling you to download the zip package is because it's a standalone version of Android Studio. It will not install on your machine, so you don't have to worry about installing and uninstalling it later. So I already installed it, so I'm going to show you right here. So as you can see here, I've already downloaded it and extracted it as well. So once you open this, go to bin folder scroll to the very bottom and run studio.exe if you have a 64-bit machine run studio64.exe once you run that you will see a window like that just wait it to load All right, so once you got into this window, just click on more actions from here and go to virtual device manager. You will see a window like that here. I've already set it up a Tiramisu machine. I'm going to remove that, delete, yes. And uh, what you have to do is click on create device, go to pixel 3a, it comes with play store so we're going to select that click on next and as you can see here you can select tiramisu on the top but if you run it for the very first time you will see a download button like so like as you can see on other versions of android i'm going to tell you how you can uh, download that just click on download and you will see this window right here and it will install the 13 tiramisu image file uh, easily on your device. I'm going to cancel that. I don't want that uh, version. So just select Tiramisu once you download that and click on next. And if you want to give it a name, just give it. Uh, I don't want to do it. Just click on finish. And once you do that, click on run. And the machine will run in a minute. So there you go. Okay. All right. So this is your Android 13 Tiramisu machine. Let's wait it till it boots up. It may take a few minutes. It depends on how powerful your Windows machine is. And once it will boot up, it will go straight to the home screen. No setup or anything. So you don't have to worry about setting it up. All right, so there you go. We're on the home screen in a second so there you go as you can see android 13 tiramisu i'm going to confirm it just go to settings and just to confirm that we're running the tiramisu about and as you can see here it says tiramisu under android version so that's pretty strange that google is 
not hiding the code name this time i don't know maybe a mistake this is a very early build so maybe this is a mistake that google did and revealed the code name for android 30 and maybe this is a new trend that google is going to start and uh, instead of giving it a number as a version maybe google will give it a name from android 13 tiramisu who knows but that would be really great uh, i don't know that's barely going to be the chance but let's not lose hope all right now i'm going to show you a couple of features that android 13 is going to give you and uh, where do we start all right let's start from the quick setting first so as you can see android 13 is not very much changed from android 12 the quick settings everything is kind of same but there is a, a small change as you can see uh, this is the internet tile in the quick settings and uh, in android 12 if you click on this uh, little arrow you will see a pop-up uh, which slides from the bottom which does not give you a really good appeal i don't know but if you do it in android 13 it will give you a really nice pop-up which is really uh, like i don't know it looks good and it's really usable uh, related to that you can enable disable your data or you can connect to any uh, wi-fi network click on done and it will go back that's that's really neat and if you click on screen recorder it will give you the same kind of pop-up see click on cancel it will go back to the dial okay it's glitching okay as you can see it's a very early build so it's glitching a bit and one more thing i'm going to show you is that uh, android 13 tiramisu has this really nice pop-up when you tap and hold on the home screen you can change the wallpaper without actually going it into the uh, wallpaper and style thing so as you can see they are all uh, live wallpapers and see this is a live wallpaper and you can change it right from the home screen you don't have to go anywhere see pretty cool right so just like that you can change that, that's pretty pretty cool okay so these were basically all the changes that you get in android 13 developer preview 1 compared to android 12 okay now i'm going to tell you uh, some of the features that i cannot show you on my virtual machine all right so google is going to work on privacy controls in android 13 uh, google already did a lot in android 12 like those uh, notification when you when your camera or mic is being used by any app that was a really cool feature and uh, i think google is going to work more on that privacy controls in android 13 as well now after that uh, there's going to be a really cool photo picker api that google is going to use this api uh, will make sure that not all the data is going to be accessed by any app when you're just selecting a photo or a picture so it will ensure that uh, not every photo not every album and not all the data is going to be accessed by that app while you're just selecting a picture so that's pretty neat so that's about it guys about the android 13 tiramisu and how you can install it on your windows machine now i'm going to tell you how you can install it on your pixel device so there is an article written by me on supergeekweb.com so you can go there and check it out the link is in the description so you can easily install it on your google pixel device a quick disclaimer do not install it on your daily driver because it may come with some glitches that may render your device useless so yeah do not do it on your daily driver you can try it on a device that you do not use anymore also there's going to be a gsi image file in the future so you can install android 13 on your project travel supported device uh it's not available right now so that's it for today guys hope you liked the video hit the like button get subscribed and i'll see you in the next one